Hello, everyone. Hey, it's your man, Darren M. Palmer, Chief Book Officer with Self Published in 30 Days, with my beautiful, wonderful, brilliant host with the most over there, Miss. Go ahead, let them know your name. Oh, Carolyn Flowers, CEO at Oxygen Publishing. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, welcome, everybody. We're excited to be with you for another episode of Desire to Inspire. Uh, thanks so much. I, I know you probably received it as well, uh, Carolyn, on your side, but I know those who have reached out on me, they have shared how beneficial that this these episodes have been, what it's meant for them, seeing us being able to connect with each other yeah, and yeah. understanding the importance of not uh, 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 com being competitive, but actually understanding the power of collaboration or whatnot. So, Carolyn, if you don't mind, talk to the people a little bit about these laws that you that you're working on this you know this percolating over there could you talk to them a little bit about it well you know any any of us that have studied um you know with mentors um you probably at some point in time come across the universal laws or the invisible laws or the laws of success whether they're um deepak chopra laws whether bob proctor's teaching them um, you know, whether Napoleon Hill teaches them, there are laws that exist in this universe that when you're aware of them, it makes your success a lot easier to understand because of course you have the power to create that. So given the fact that our business, oxygen, our whole idea is that we breathe life into your book. So, so we've actually assumed the fact that, you know, we have we have our own atmosphere that we live in. And because we have an atmosphere and we bring that atmosphere to clients, well, then we had to have our own laws, right? That govern us and not just govern us, govern our team, but it's the spirit and the energy that we want to bring to, to our, you know, to, to our circle, to our environment. So one of those laws actually is the law of collaboration is one of those laws. But another one of those laws that I speak to a lot is I call the law of percolation. And it is the contrast of procrastination. So many people, when they, you know, when they think about this book they want to write, the first thought that comes to their head is, oh, I've been, I've been wanting to write it for so long. And I've been really wanting to get this out of my head, but I haven't had time or whatever the alibi they give themselves but what they're doing is you know they're bringing this negative energy into this experience and they're they're basically giving themselves a hard time thinking they've been procrastinating doing this and so i turn that around and i always tell people to just take themselves off the hook a bit and understand that the law of percolation tells us that sometimes this book that's here that is in the realm of being created as we speak right now whether you can see it or not it's waiting for you to catch up so this book in its entirety that is going to inspire so many people has got a whole bunch of content in there that you actually haven't lived yet so it has nothing to do with you procrastinating it it has to do with you being aware enough to say huh there's all these things I'm here to teach. And the book has already got a lot of that in it, but it's waiting for you to live some of those life experiences, have those success stories to share. And then you really know when it's time. And so I just want to encourage people to let go, right? The, the actual universal law of non-resistance, let go right? And allow yourself to move into this phenomenal space that is yours, that you can own of your story. And to understand that when you're ready to write your story, the right people, the right opportunities, the right mentorship will just magically show up. Like somebody like Darren M. Palmer, who has an opportunity for people to come down and work with him by the sea, well, you know, Carolyn, it's, it, it's, it's amazing the information that you just shared there with the percolation of whatnot instead of the procrastination. And, and it goes back to what we've talked about on previous episodes as far as the paradigm shift um, in, in your perspective, in yeah. your lens. You know, those who believe that they can, those who believe that they can't are both right. You know, I, I've, I've heard Henry Ford quote, I've heard others quoted or whatnot, you know, and, and uh, 
far as in, in the Greek or whatnot. But at the same time, at the end of the day, the law is the law. It is it's working. The law of gravity is working no matter what you said, no matter your sexual orientation, no matter yep. your gender, no matter where you are on the socioeconomic ladder. Uh, the law of gravity exists. That's just part of life, period. You know, yep. and so when I look at what you're bringing up for us to percolation, then it's, it's something one of my favorite books uh, that all things work together for my good. Uh, and so when I understand that and understand the importance of that, then you are right, Carolyn, that I'm at the right place at the right time. And I have to know that I didn't miss it. I had to change my mindset. I didn't miss it. No, this is the timing for it. You didn't have to be in the tech boom to be a millionaire. You, I know people who just do deal with hay alone and became a millionaire. They didn't know, they don't know anything about an app, yeah. but yeah. what's for them is for them. So it's using what you have and getting around the right people, like those who are investing in themselves by listening into this um, show that we have with desire to inspire is something that's working within you that's changing your mindset that's going to make it emotional for you that you're going to take the proper action because you know that this is your time at this moment today is the present and the event that you're talking about this is the year for your new book conference 2021 is something that we do um, we travel to different locations but the unique thing about it is, is what Carolyn was bringing up. Now, Carolyn's been doing retreats and things for years as well. And we're going to be the, on the opposite side of the coast or whatnot in Florida and Key West um, on the east side. But at the same time, we wanted to create opportunities for people. So whether it's just digital for those who aren't able to travel right now, depending on the restrictions where are you, wherever you are in the world. And then at the same time, we created the retreat for those who want to create in person allow for the percolation to happen. It's something about hearing the sounds of the ocean, oh, being yeah. able to be creative, seeing God's creation, the sun or whatnot hitting you, the wind blowing through your hair, through your face. You know, you see all this long hair I got, you know, I, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for my tan too, Carolyn, but don't tell anybody about that part. <laughs> but at the same time, I want us to understand the importance of getting with people. It's a synergy that happens. Just like with me and Carolyn being here right now, it's a synergy that happens when you have two people that are walking in agreement or whatnot. It's something that comes out of us that might wouldn't have came out of us if it's just us doing it alone. But it's a synergy when we come together. It's the same thing when it comes to writing or creating. Whether it's an idea for a business, an idea for a book, it aligns with that percolation. What are your thoughts on that, Car Carolyn? Oh my gosh. So I've, I've done retreats in, in Venice Beach, Florida for the last few years, and I've had the great opportunity and honor really to have authors or aspiring emerging authors to come travel and, and invest time with me for three, four days. And, and we really take a deep dive. So it's an immersion opportunity. And there is, um, I mean, I've had nothing but incredible feedback and success stories because you're giving each individual this opportunity to not only have their own unique kind of relationship with what that ocean and what that that mother earth is to them it it opens up every avenue of creativity and i'm a big believer as you know in who you surround yourself with like you know the jim Rohn is is the five people you spend the most time with it's so powerful and important to get yourself in the rooms with people who are in alignment at the same frequency people that think bigger than you do. People that believe in your ability to share your story even before you do. So this is this opportunity you have to borrow belief. Even if you're not quite there yet, it's okay. Get yourself in the room with people who are going to lift you up or, you know, I like to say balcony people, people that lend a hand down and lift you up to the next level. Get yourself with those people. The amount of, um, you will take it, I mean, moving forward is one thing, taking quantum leaps is something else. So sometimes it comes down to making a decision. And when we do that, there's sometimes there's some resistance or a bit of fear there, but know that how many times will the opportunity land on your lap before you just say yes? And so when my authors came down to work with me, it was like, yes, it was out of their comfort zone. It was something that they wouldn't normally do, hop on a plane, come all the way across the country from somewhere to a place they didn't know in an environment that they didn't know what to expect, but trust the process and that somebody like, like Darren knows exactly how to get out of you what 
you may not even see yet. It's just a tremendous opportunity. Mm, wow. And you know, and, and another thing when it comes to that creativity, and I just want to just give a shout out to my girl, Carolyn, hitting us with the value bombs, the bar of belief. Oh my goodness. Don't let that go over your head. People take notes, take notes over there. And then also the balcony people, those who are reaching up. And that's what we believe in getting you around the right people. Also, Carolyn, we just stepped it up a level as far as helping people and, you know, and uh, barring others beliefs by having a private tour of Ernest Hemingway home. Um, so not only will you be able to write on the ocean, but having that mindset to see one of the greatest writers that we've been able to know, uh, to be able to tour where he wrote at uh, before he went over to Cuba and things like that or whatnot, and to be able to have that experience. So just think about that. That's that's a priceless. We believe in experiences in life, not just doing things. Yeah, we could just got a hotel room or something like that, but being on the ocean, going and looking at Ernest Hemingway's home, looking how he created an environment. This is one of the greatest who ever done it. You know, copy genius. He wasn't just in Key West for no reason. He surrounded himself around beauty. He understood what Carolyn was just sharing with us about how important it is for looking at Mother Nature, allowing for that creativity to flow with you. And you're able to get different results compared to someone who's in, you know, let's say a cubicle somewhere or in, in a corner of Starbucks trying to create some content. It's a different type of vibe. And we oh took it one step further when <laughs> we look at this, Carolyn, when you talked about being around the right people, we also created an opportunity for people, business owners and leaders who just wanted to get out, maybe have a book, maybe not, but just to just to create with each other. So we create an opportunity where we have a sail yacht um, that we're going to carry people out, let them do some snorkeling, allow for them to be able to go out of whatnot and do some scuba diving and things like that or whatnot and kayaking and, and just being able to just to have a great time and connect with people from across the globe. You know, coach, of course, with social distancing, the wind blowing all night, but we know it's already deals. It's already partnerships that are happening with people. Yes. And we haven't even gotten there yet. It just just email connects and LinkedIn connects. And so what Carolyn is saying, I'm just sharing you a testament of what this means. Me and Carolyn relationship right now, th this is what happens when you around the right people, they connect you with the right people. What are your thoughts on that, Carolyn? This has been a tremendous year for that. While, while you can look at it through the perspective of what we can't do in 2020, or you can make a choice. And you can say, this is what I got to do in 2020. And in my world, I got to connect with, I mean, hundreds of new uh, entrepreneurs I'd never met before, entrepreneurs that I became connected with, visionary entrepreneurs, big thinking people, and understanding that you, you know when you're amongst your tribe. You know by how you feel. You know when you're amongst a group of people and you go, oh my gosh, that, that was empowering. And then you go off and write some notes and it takes you into a new place. I'll tell you a really interesting kind of this is an energetic story, I guess, but I think I shared it with you when I was um, in Venice Beach. It wasn't last year, but the year before when I was doing, I did a, I did for the month of March because I go down for the month and I bring four clients down. So um, I was there for the month of March and I was there for the month of August. And I, I took a trip over to Miami to see a, a colleague of mine. And as I was in Miami, I had this strange energetic pull to the keys. Now I've spent my, I'm, I'm a third generation snowbird. You know, Florida is my second, second home, but I hadn't ever done an event in the keys and I I'm on the West coast of Florida, but I felt this strange tug and pull to the keys and Hemingway house, which is like an incredible place. So I said to one of my colleagues at oxygen, I said, you know what we should do? We should do a retreat in the Florida keys. Because, I mean, the whole Hemingway, that whole thing, I mean, it just, it imbues creativity. What I didn't know is that a couple of years later, I wouldn't necessarily have to create that retreat myself. I would potentially partner with somebody else who had already created that. And then I could inspire my people to go down to a place that I know will benefit them already. And I just have to send them your way. That's the spirit of collaboration, isn't it? That's amazing. That's amazing. And that's what it's all about. Because those who understand that there's no limitations, that's the thing about getting around big think, getting around the right people. 
because you know that it's more than enough. And that's what me and Carolyn are here to do is to give you the desire to inspire. I think some of you are being shackled by limited beliefs. That's why you, you keep hearing me go back to that. When you have been taught, you have to unlearn some of the things that society has taught you or family members or colleagues or those or peers thinking that you got to dog everyone, you know, stomp and, and, you know, holler and scream out loud like that's going to benefit you. It's not by you understanding the importance of connecting with the right people. And I want to go deeper in this because this is something that I knew but 2020 has shown me even more. Yeah. All you need is the right people. All this stress and pulling and tugging and you trying to be the one man or one woman show. If you just release yourself to connect and to pour into the right people. Yeah. You're going to grow exponentially. And Carolyn brought this up. We're not talking about increments. We're talking about exponential growth, quantum separation leaps. season. That, that's it, quantum leaps. And so, you know, I, I don't want people to miss that because all, if you can have one person that could refer you to 15, 20 other people just like them, you didn't have to create a funnel. You didn't have to have a lead magnet. It's just because, you, you know, you treat people the way you want to be treated. And typically, Carolyn knows great people. I know great people. I wouldn't refer anybody to Carolyn if I didn't think that they lined up with her and vice versa. So that's where the magic happens. That's where you get into a state in the place and you're like, is this really, let me, let me teach my, is this really my life? Is this the network I have now? Everyone is just giving, 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 oh, loving, 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 loving. Is this really my reality now? And yes, my friend, that's why we want to give you the desire to inspire. Could, could you could you speak to that, Carolyn, and could you close us out? Well, I'll close this out with something that's dear to me. One of the universal laws, okay, the 11 universal laws, one of those laws is the law of giving. The law of giving, and we could do, we could do a whole show just on universal law because there's, I mean, you must understand and know them and learn to live from them. It's like the rules of the road. When you're driving a car, there are laws. You've got to obey the laws. We've got things in life. There's rules and regulations. We obey them to the best of our ability. But when we don't, there's usually a consequence. And that happens with universal law. The difference is you just can't see it. There's no stop sign in front of you that tells you to stop your car. So once you become aware of the laws and what I've found to be so extraordinary this year in this conversation we're having about getting in the rooms with people that think bigger than you, think people that want, they have this desire in them to be of service to other people. I have found that the more successful people are, the more generous they are, the more giving that they are and and that energy okay is a two-way law so when you're in the spirit of giving and you and i have been on so many of these referral conversations they're not transactional conversations they're just discovery conversations how can i be of service to you how can i support you who do i know that i think could benefit from what you do we're in the spirit of the law of giving now, the beautiful thing is when you give without expectation of receiving, the receiving is going to come. You just have to have faith in the law because you're not, you're not trying to micromanage the get back because it's not about what can I get. It's about what can I give, being a go-giver instead of a go-getter, right? So you just have to understand that when you give of yourself and your generosity of spirit and conversation and you invest time with people, that investment has a dividend. And that dividend is called the law of receiving. So just be open to know and trust that when you're giving, whether it's a call with somebody who wants to write a book for me or for you, it doesn't matter. It's not about what can I get? How can I be of service and give? And we just know instinctively by law, Things will come back, maybe not from that transaction, but somewhere it comes back to you. That's why, you know, it's better to give. So we're in the spirit of giving, giving our, you know, our belief in the people that that tune into us and and the fact that, hey, if you want some more information, reach out to Darren, reach out to myself. Either one of us 
right, are here to give of our time to be able to allow you to understand better what writing a book will do for you and for your business and for your life. So there we, 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 we opened with the laws, we're closing with the laws. Awesome, awesome. And I just want to just, because it's in the spirit of giving right now, when you all listen to this particular uh, episode, for those of you who go and follow or share, let's put his follow me and Carolyn. And if you share uh, the flyer of, uh, of our events, what we're going to do is I'm going to have it put uh, on a list or whatnot and have our team pick a couple winners to have them where they have able to have free access um, to the digital portion of our This is a Year for Your New Book uh, Conference 2021. So for those out there who, let me just share that again. If you yeah. share this, um, if you share the flyer, if you share the content or whatnot, or you share the post that we have on Carolyn's or or my platform and you follow us and we know it, uh, we're gonna put you in a list uh, and we're gonna give out um, some access for those who want information. And it's not just writing, this is marketing, this is publishing. These are things that you're gonna need with a method we call B squared book to business that even after the book is done, or if you co-author the book, you need to know these fundamental principles or laws that allow for you to be able to scale and have success. So in the spirit of giving and being go-givers, like Carolyn just alluded to, we want to make sure that we give you something for uh, pouring into us and allowing us to pour back into you. So oh, Carolyn, what a value. Uh, big value there. <laughs> that's it. That's it, Carolyn. I thank you so much, Carolyn, for doing the show today. And oh, we're thank you. To have you all out there as well. But remember, keep going forward. And Carolyn, I'll let you close it out. This is a this is what Wednesdays are like now. And and I love this part of our week. So I just want to wish everybody a great rest of their week. And uh, in the spirit of giving in the holiday season, happy holidays to wherever you are and wherever you're listening from. And remember, your desire to inspire is a decision that you may have not already made, but consider it and you have access to some great information and we would love to help you learn more about your own extraordinary story. Awesome, awesome. Until next time, y'all be blessed and be great.